powered by the Montana Television Network. This is the 530 News from Montana's News Leader. Right now on MTN News, one man is dead after an officer involved shooting in Bozeman. Good evening, everybody. Thanks for joining us here on MTN News. I'm Kevin Stanfield. MTN's Medeiros Bab is live on the scene right now and has all the details. Medeiros. All right, thank you very much, Medeiros. One final note, Chief Crawford says it's been 12 years since the last time there was a Bozeman police officer involved in a shooting incident. Well, play-by-play -play announcer for Montana State University Bobcats, Jay Sanderson, has resigned. He's now being investigated for charges of sexual harassment. MPN's John Amy was in Deer Lodge today and has the latest developments in that case. Sweet is expected to make his initial appearance on those charges next Tuesday in Powell County District Court. All right, time for a first check on your weather with our chief meteorologist, Mike Hurd. The big question, of course, the weekend weather. Mm -hmm. An internal controversy at Montana State University over the future of its biology and neuroscience programs has suddenly become very public. Sitting at a steady 3.7%, Montana's unemployment rate remains at its lowest point in more than a decade. When we come to the truth and what the reality is, again, I want to give you a chance to respond to the president's claim that John Tester doesn't work with him. They don't even talk to one another. That was something that jumped out at me. Your response to that? Socialism. You're a socialist, and this is socialism. If we let the Democrats gain control, it's socialism for everybody. Let's start with you, David. All right, gentlemen, all of you, thank you so much. We're going to toss it out back to the airport again for MTN's Caitlin Corbett and our chief political reporter, Mike Dennison. Total spending in this race is expected to top $60 million. Here's what the Secretary of State Office reported so far this evening for the U.S. Senate race here. We see John Tester, the incumbent, coming in with 53% of the vote. Uh, Republican Matt Rosendale, 45%, and Libertarian candidate Rick Breckenridge, 3% of the vote. All right, moving on now to the race for Montana's lone seat in the U.S. House of Representatives. The race puts first-time incumbent Greg Gianforte, a Republican, against Democrat cam candidate Kathleen Williams. Now, both of them are from Bozeman. All right, across town, Democrat candidate Kathleen Williams was uh, the underdog in her attempt to unseat Greg Gianforte. Our MTN MSU poll in the late September showed her seven percentage points behind the incumbent. Let's head on over to her gathering right now at the Rialto. Your response then to uh, the senatorial race. Now, let's start there. Well, just for the viewers' information here, as of about 8.45 this evening, at the Gallatin County Courthouse, the line to vote was still going out the front door. Crazy. They cut it off there. So, all right, thank you, Dr. Parker, and we'll uh, check back in with you in just a few moments. Now on KXLF, no more target practice at the Big M, but is anybody listening? Plus, keeping your personal information safe when you take that summer road trip. And happy Flag Day, everybody. We're going to see how Montanans are celebrating. Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for joining us here on KXLF. I'm Kevin Stanfield. We begin this afternoon with breaking news out of Bozeman. Police there are searching a vacant field for an armed suspect. MTN's Mallory Peebles is on the scene and has this report. Mallory. All right, thank you very much, Carson. People in Butte this evening will get a chance to look at plans for major road construction on West Park Street. Well, it's been a month since we first told you that city officials in Butte wanted to end shooting behind Big Butte. MTN's John Amy now brings us an update. Butte Elevated was started as a way of getting all agencies and participating businesses delivering the same marketing message. Well, this week, Montana health insurers are filing their 2019 rates for individual policies on the Obamacare marketplace. Now, the proposed new rates won't be public until a few weeks from now, but as MTN's Mike Dennison reports, the basic structure, the federal subsidies and for the policies aren't likely to change much. And one more note, open enrollment for the 2019 policies on the marketplace won't start until November or December. Today, of course, is Flag Day, a holiday that commemorates the adoption of the Stars and Stripes by the U.S. Congress on June 14, 1777. MTN's Elizabeth Transu takes us to Flag Hill and Great Falls for the sights and sounds of the Flag Day celebration there. Well, as Montanans hit the road for their summer trips, law enforcement is reminding everybody to watch out for credit card skimmers. This week's Fraud Watch, MTN's Jonathan Embarian looks at how you can protect your personal information. By the way, Lockerbie says credit cards have more layers of protection than debit cards do, and you can also avoid any identity theft by paying for your gas with cash. 
Back over to Carson Vicroy now for another check on your weather. Don't forget your umbrella for both Butte and Bozeman here for the next couple of days, right? Yep. That is correct. All right. Thank you so much for being there. And, of course, we will be right here at 10 o'clock.